These are all lights I found that had at least a four star and above rating. Some of them have hundreds of reviews and a few of them have many thousands. Number six, the Nikron N7 600 lumen flashlight. Rated 4.3 out of 5 stars from 668 ratings and has a price tag of $14.99. Number 5, the BYB F18. It's 800 lumen flashlight. 4.5 out of 5 stars from 748 ratings and a price tag of $19.98. Number four, the GearLite S1200, for which I did not find an output rating, so we'll assume they want us to think 1200. It rated 4.7 out of 5 stars from 1950 ratings. Price tag is $13.99. Number three, the Anchor Boulder 900 lumens, and rated 4.4 out of 5 stars from 3,468 ratings. The price tag is $27.99. Number 2, Outlight A1000, a 600 lumen flashlight, 4.5 out of 5 stars from 4,182 ratings, and a price tag of only $9.99. Number one, the J5 Tactical V1 Pro 300 lumen flashlight rated 4.4 out of 5 stars from 13,554 ratings <coughs> and has a price tag of $13.95. This chart shows all of the testing I did for each light for the output. On the lights that could use multiple kinds of battery like the AA and a 14500, I tested for both of those and I have that next to the claimed output on this so you can binge on that chart. I'll also link it in the description. Now just so you know, none of these lights were sent to me by anyone for review. I purchased them all with my own money. But if you check the links in the description and you purchase using those links, you are still supporting this channel. Also, I've loaded several of my own products from my shop on Amazon, which ship from Prime, so you can get them as fast as possible. If you decide to buy one of those, please leave feedback, your own review on Amazon. Very much appreciated. Thank you. First up was our Nikron N7, and even though it had the least amount of ratings, this is definitely one of the best flashlights that you can get on Amazon for cheap. I buy this for people I know personally. It is super quality for the price. It's all metal. It runs on a single AA battery. It comes with a, a sturdy pocket clip, a magnetic tail cap, and it even does this little trick. Normally, I don't like gimmicks, but this is really good. That joint there is sturdy. There's absolutely no wobble. This is a light, if it had a different brand name on it, I would expect to cost $40 or $45. The user interface is simple. You get on, low, off. It does have blinky stuff, but to get to that, you press down and hold and then let off and you're in your blinky stuff. There's a strobe and you can click again and get uh, what looks like SOS maybe. If you want, you can use either a rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery or a 14500 lithium cell in there if you like. My rating, five stars all the way. Onto our BYB F18. The build quality of this light seems good. It's solid, it doesn't make any rattling. We got a Cree LED. The switch feels great. It's very easy to make it come on. It has a decent pocket clip. It is rechargeable. Inside here it has an 18650 and to charge it we have a USB port here. Unfortunately the battery is not removable. So that means that when the battery wears out, and it will, then your light is toast. The user interface, we click for on, and we have four brightness modes, and you just click and it'll cycle through those from high to low. The off is by a press and hold. Uh, if you want your strobe, you can double click. The price tag on this is $20, and for that, I think this is still a good light. 
because you don't have to buy a battery and a charger. This is a four star light. I can't give it five because I don't like that the battery is not removable. Number four, the Gear Light S1200 is a zoomable flashlight. A uh, little bit of head wobble, not terrible. This one is powered by three AA cells in an adapter, but alternatively, I found that a 26650 will fit in there. You'll need, you know, something to sleeve it with, but uh, a, a rolled up piece of paper would work. The build quality overall on this just feels kind of mediocre to me. The threads are not good. They're really cheap feeling. The switch is not bad. The switch feels pretty good. Our user interface is it defaults to high and then we have medium, low, and then our two blinky modes. My rating for this light, in my mind, I know that you, you're getting a lot of flashlight here. For 14 bucks, this is a, a good light, but I... <laughs> I know it's just because I'm a jerk and maybe, maybe a snob. Number three in our lineup, the Anchor Boulder. Also seems to be a pretty good flashlight. It is a zoomable light. The build quality is good. There is some wobble on the head, but not bad. It doesn't feel cheap. The tail switch is a reasonable press, feels good, it's not spongy, and the beam on it is gorgeous. The color of the light, the build on it is pretty unique. The LED is encapsulated under some kind of a dome that sits on a post, and it uses both an optic and a reflector. One other key feature, this is also an 18650 flashlight, also USB rechargeable. We have our port here under the tail cap, but something I've never seen before, you can just remove that little plug and inside you put your own battery. The user interface for our boulder is we click for on and we can cycle modes high, medium, low, and then we have strobe and SOS, and it will memorize any of those modes. It has off time memory, so you click, and you gotta wait about like 10 seconds, and it'll memorize the last mode in use. So next time we come on, we left off in strobe, so there we are. This is a five star light to me for that price. Okay, number two, this is a familiar looking light. Uh, sold under a million names, this is the Outlight 1000, A1000, excuse me. Powered by three AAA batteries, or you can put an 18650 in it, and this one did come with the sleeve to do that. Uh, you know, with this one, we, we have got some head wobble. Um, our user interface is the high, medium, low, and then strobe and SOS. And this light will default back to high. $10 is the price tag on this light. So I'm going to try to be reasonable minded here and consider that. This is not a light you would ever see on my channel otherwise. O other than for, for this... I, if you really want a zoomie, of all of them I've ever seen that look like this, I would much rather see a person buy this for $10 than the identical one that's 40 bucks. that's secret military technology. Because for 10 bucks, this is a lot. Finally, the J5 Tactical V1 Pro. This little guy has... 13,000 plus reviews and still rates almost five stars. So I was really curious about this and it's good quality. It's a really nice little flashlight. It, it can run on either an AA battery or a 14500. The finish is very good. The design is, I think, fantastic looking. It's got a very sturdy for its size pocket clip. 
The tail switch is easy to access. The head zips up and down easily. We do get a crisp image of our die when it's zoomed out. This light was $14. To me, this light is definitely a rival to, uh, what is it, the Sipic? It was a little zoomy we all had for a while. We got a multi-mode user interface. We got our default to high and then uh, medium or high, low, and strobe, sorry. As far as how I would personally rate these in order of greatest to least, it would be this. The Nikron N7 is by far the clear winner. Second, I would put the Anchor Boulder, followed by the BYB, and then the J5 Tactical. And then what I would call a tie for last place is the Outlight and the Gear Light. One last golden nugget. Amazon Basics is selling their own rechargeable nickel metal hydride AA batteries, and they are good. I got, there's a couple different kinds they have. The ones you want are these ones right here, uh, the 2400 milliamp pre-charged. I load tested these, and they really perform. If you look at this chart, they not only have that perfectly flat discharge curve, even under a heavy load, they still uh, maintained a reasonably high voltage. I also tested their uh, self-discharge capability, like how well they hold a charge if you leave the battery sitting. I bought tons of these, and I left a package of them sit. It was for three months, almost 90 days, and when I load tested them, I still got a capacity of around 1600 milliamps. I'm not ready to say that these are Amazon brand rebadge and loops, but they are made in Japan and they do perform in a similar way as what you would expect with a quality battery from Sanyo. First, we'll do some inside stuff with our AA lights. This is the J5 Tactical. V1 Pro 300 lumen on an AA battery. Now we'll do the Nikron N7 on an AA battery. That's using our Amazon Basics nickel metal hydride rechargeable. Now with the 14500 rechargeable. That is with the lithium ion battery in the Nikron in 7, which was my pick of the litter. Now we'll do uh, J5 Tactical on the 14500. Here's our side by side J5 Tactical on the right and Nikron, Nikron in seven on the left. Starting with our smallest in size, this is the BYB F18. This is the uh, reflector based light. Fixed focus. Now the Outlight A1000. That is our 600 lumen zoomy. Now the Anchor Boulder. That's zoomed all the way out for this one. Has the uh, optic now the Gear Light S twelve hundred. That is using the three triple A or three AA adapter. Sorry our Amazon Basics nickel metal hydride cells. 
And as always, guys, super thanks for watching and good lucks.